Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead, click on subscribe, and also click on the bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel, as well as this sled. If this is the first time seeing this sled, do me a favor, go ahead and click on the playlist, and that'll get you up to date as far as what we have done to this sled, the story, and, and what we're doing to it. All right, so today we are gonna be uh, removing the hood from the sled in preparation for paint. Uh, we've already done the paint test and we were successful on that and essentially what we do is we're going to remove the hood from the sled we're going to put it up on a uh, couple set of saw horses we're going to prep it we're going to scuff it down and everything else and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, construct a uh, spray booth out of some uh, plastic tarping and some uh, furring strips so stay tuned hope you find this interesting and let's get started Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this while the hood is still on the sled. We're gonna remove the windshield. We're gonna remove the instrument console. And this is pretty straightforward to do. To remove the windshield, it's just held on by a series of rubber retaining straps all the way around. There's approximately eight of them. Go ahead and remove those. And then to remove the, uh, the instrument console, uh, it's held on by the four bolts. One, two, three, four. Okay, now that you have the console and windshield removed, what I've done is I've taken a couple bundy straps and I hooked them up to the hood. I've done that for a couple reasons. All right, the first reason is while you're working on it, uh, now that the weight of the console has been removed, the hood has a tendency to want to close. So essentially, this will hold the, uh, the, wind, the, uh, the hood open. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna remove the cables that hold the hood from opening all the way forward. And once you do that, the, the hood is really gonna wanna start to flop around. And so that's why we're having these uh, bungee cords on there. So they're not too tight, but they're, they're just gonna stabilize it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the, uh, the hold back cables and springs and uh, that aluminum plate, and then we're gonna pull the, uh, the hood uh, vents off as well. All right, so at this point, the only thing that's holding the hood on are the two fasteners that are attached to the hinge, right? So what I've done is I've taken a couple saw horses and essentially laid everything out to the dimensions of the hood. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hood off and we're gonna drop it right in those saw horses. Okay, so we have the uh, hood up on our uh, little stand here. So now the next thing you, we have to do is we gotta remove the nose cone. And the nose cone is held on by uh, four bolts. This one, I've already removed one. Uh, actually, it's held on by five bolts. There's two on the right, there's one in the center, and then there's two additional ones on the left. And what it is, they are 7 16 And then there's an access hole right there. Hopefully, you can see that. And all I have to do is go in there with a screwdriver. To prevent it from spinning so the uh, the nose cone is off and uh, I actually just brought both these pieces back inside and what I did is I took some soap and water and a brush and I essentially cleaned the uh, the hood and the nose cone inside and out top and bottom and everything else getting rid of any big particulate matter and any dust and cobwebs and whatever else was stuck to the uh, underside of the hood and the nose tone nose cone because essentially what you want to do is, uh, you know, once you start doing your surface prep and you're getting ready to paint, uh, you want to make sure that the thing is pretty much dirt and dust free. And the last thing you want to do is, you know, start painting up by the, uh, the openings and run into some dust or dirt or whatever that's on the underside of the hood. And then uh, it gets knocked loose and it gets uh, into the paint. So. Take the steps now. I know it takes about five minutes to do it, but it will be one less thing you have to worry about when you go to paint. So what we have to do now is we're gonna remove all the decals on the hood. We'll also remove this piece because this is a separate assembly. So we'll remove that. Um, any other manufacturing stickers we're gonna have to remove because obviously you gotta do the scuff work to paint that. And then uh, we'll also remove that uh, vent as well um, i'm just going to tape over the, on these because these are riveted to them and i don't feel like drilling out the rivets i'm just gonna be lazy on those i'll just tape them off all right so essentially uh let's do that let's start uh removing all the decals and uh start stripping it 
All right, so all the decals have been removed. Came off fairly easy for how long they've been on there. And then take some mineral spirits and then uh, that will break up the adhesive and then just wipe all that stuff off. And uh, so now it comes to the point where, you know, there's a saying it's all about the prep and this is absolutely true. Um, depending how much time you spend on the next step is really gonna dictate how good of a job it's gonna you're gonna do because um, really painting is really five to ten percent of the job the rest of it is all in prep so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these scotch bright pads and essentially we're gonna go over the entire hood right and as we're going over it what you want to be looking for is any imperfections in the paint like to, right down here have a little bit of a gouge so the scotch bright isn't gonna take care of that we're going to sand that out and feather feather it out and then you know look for like little imperfections like this smooth those out and another thing you want to look out for is base uh it's gonna kind of hard to pick up on the uh, camera but hopefully you'll see this but uh there's right here the clear coat on this is starting to bubble up and essentially you have to sand all that stuff out because if you don't, when you paint it, all that stuff is gonna transfer through the paint. Um, paint does not fill correct, uh, very well, it just covers it. So take your time. You're probably gonna spend probably four or five hours doing the prep. It's gonna take a long time, but it is worth it in the end. So why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so after about two to three hours with the scuff pad, everything is scuffed down. Um, nothing too complicated, just labor intensive. So, again, this is where you want to spend the majority of your time is in the prep. Because, you know, regardless of what your paint technique is and materials that you're using, if you have bad prep, it's, it's just going to show in your finished product. So, we've gone over the entire thing with the scuff pad getting inside all the uh, corners and everything else. Done the nose cone and uh, blended in that section. Because uh, if you remember, that's where that paint test was. So I leveled it off. So what I'm gonna do now, and, uh, and this is probably optional, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna take a 600 wet sand paper and I'm gonna go over the entire hood with the wet sand and the bucket of water and just level everything off and go from there. And that's pretty gonna wrap up all the prep for today because right now it's very humid out. Cold front just came through and uh, tomorrow's gonna be a, a better day to paint. So I'm getting all the prep work done today. So I finished the, uh, the wet sanding and I actually just took it out in the driveway and I washed it down. Got rid of all the uh, sanding debris and everything else. Washed the nose cone and the, uh, the other piece, whatever that's called, so. So at this point, we are done for the night. Uh, what I did is, you know, cause tomorrow, uh, and this will actually be in another video. Um, tomorrow we'll be uh, constructing a uh, makeshift paint booth. And what I've done is I've taken the uh, my leaf blower and I've blown out all of the dust and stuff out of the garage today. And so what we'll do tomorrow is we'll construct the uh, the paint booth using simple plastic drop cloths. We'll uh, wash the hood down one more time. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, clean it, prep it with, with a tack rag, bring it into the paint booth and uh, get it all set to paint. And what we'll do is we're gonna hose down the floor make sure it's nice and wet in here. So any residual dust that's on the floor, it's not gonna get caught up or kicked up. So that's it all for today. I hope you guys thought this was interesting. If there's any thoughts, questions, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.